I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Department of Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the post oak. Post oak, Quercus stellata, is sometimes called iron oak. The species is known as post oak because early settlers used the wood for fence posts since it's so durable even when in contact with the soil. Post oak is recognized in the white oak group and the wood share many of the same qualities. And like most oaks, it's an important wildlife tree. It is a medium sized tree, 40 to 50 feet in height and grows on average 12 to 24 inches in diameter. Post oak is abundant throughout the southeastern and south central United States. It typically grows on dry, rocky outcrops, ridges, and upper slopes, pretty poor sites. Post oak exhibits tremendous drought resistance. It's relatively slow growing and commonly overtopped by other trees, including other oaks, on better sites. However, on those poor sites, post oak tends to persist and can become dominant because it's more drought resistant than the other species it's growing with. It's classified as shade intolerant. Post oak is a deciduous tree with alternately arranged leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are simple, which means they're made up of one blade. They're oblong in shape and about 6 to 10 inches long. The leaves typically have five lobes. The two middle lobes are squarish and nearly opposite, giving the leaf a cruciform or cross shape. This is a great characteristic in identifying this tree. The leaves tend to be thick and green above with scattered stellate hairs, and the underside is paler and typically pubescent or hairy. Post oak makes a lovely landscape or shade tree. From the spring, the, those red furry leaves, to the thick green summer canopy, and to the autumn with those colors of russets and browns, it could be a really nice addition to any landscape. Post oak is monoecious, which means one house, and refers to the tree having both male and female flowers. The male flowers are yellow-green on hanging catkins, and the female flowers are typically reddish and are in a short spike in the leaf axle. The flowers bloom as the leaves are emerging from March to May, depending on location, and the flowers are wind-pollinated. The fruit is an acorn, and they are either solitary or paired, and they're on very short or sessile stalks. The acorns are typically one-half to two-third inches long and sort of egg-shaped. They have a warty, scaly cap that covers about one-third to one-half of the acorn. The acorns mature in one growing season, ripening in the fall, usually September through November. They germinate once they drop. Seed production begins around 25 years of age, give or take a little bit. And trees have good seed crops every two to three years. And post oak does not produce as many acorns as its associates white oak or black oak and the acorns are dispersed by gravity and wildlife. Post oak is a valuable contributor to wildlife food and cover. The acorns provide high energy food during fall and winter and are considered important in the diet of wild turkey, white-tailed deer, squirrels, and many other rodents. When these acorns are available, the animals have lots of food to eat, so they're fattened quickly and they go through winter in good condition and are most likely to produce healthy young in the spring. The leaves are used for nest building by birds, squirrels, and raccoons, and the cavities in these trees provide nests and dens for various birds and mammals. The bark of post oak is ashy gray and initially quite scaly, but as the tree ages it becomes more blocky with ridges. Overall the bark looks pretty similar to white oak. The wood of post oak is light to medium brown in color, though there can be a fair amount of variation in that color. It has medium to large pores and is fairly um, coarse grained. Post oak has a very good resistance to decay, hence the name post oak being used for fence posts. Post oak falls into the white oak group and shares many of the same traits as white oak Quercus alba. The wood is used for cabinetry, furniture, interior trim, and flooring, a lot of the same things that white oak Quercus alba is used for. The wood is also used for railroad ties, construction timber, wood chips for smoking meats, and for fence posts. You remember where it gets its name from. And the bark is used for a decorative and protective mulch in landscaping. The national champion post oak is in Cherokee, Alabama. It's 255 inches in circumference, 95 feet tall, with a 122 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Tree Register or go to the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees.
Now for a few fun facts about post oak. In The Natural History of Trees by Petey, he says post oak should be called cross tie oak since some of the first rails of our railway system in America were laid upon post oak. Now, this may not actually be a fun fact, but the tannin in oak leaves, the buds, and the acorns are toxic to cattle, sheep, and goats, and that poisoning occurs more frequently in drought years when other forage is in short supply. The most dangerous season is during the spring, and when the sprouting of that new foliage occurs somewhere between March and April. The species name of post oak, stellata, is Latin and means covered with stars, in reference to the star-like tufts of hair on the leaves. I'm glad you joined me today to learn about post oak and hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy this member of the white oak group.